You won't know that you underestimated the people. You took a gamble and you lost. Okay, we don't like this. Okay, well then we're going to do this. And that is just how it's going to be. Evidence brought to light that there is a corrupt officer or that that officer did shoot that kid on purpose. I don't care how I look, I don't care how I sound, I don't care what the beat is. I just care the message gets across. How's it going, everybody? Um, this is Eric again. Uh, sitting here, reading through, noticing how many people I've uh, pissed off and offended. Or, let me reword that. Sitting here, reading, noticing how many people get pissed off and get offended. You know, open up my mouth, and I'll tell you something that I feel. You know, something that, the way I see it, you know, I'm like, this is my perspective, my view of how I see things from my reality. And people are like, oh, fuck you, motherfucker, you need to burn. Nah, that's fine, that's fine, you know what I'm saying? I mean, you can tell me to burn, that's your prerogative. That's fine. I'm not offended by that. Um, I'm offended by this whole damn world. You know, I'm told that uh, I have a problem with authority. Yeah, I guess I do. I got a problem with authority. See, I'm a grown-ass man. I got my bills. I got a family. You know what I'm saying? I, I do what I need to do. You know, I'm a grown-ass man. My dad is in assisted living. My mom out and about doing her own thing. You know, my parents, you know, they're growing up now. They're out of my picture, you know, so to speak. They're not commanders above me, dictators of my rights and my life. Um, everybody gets pissed off because they think that I have to listen to them. They think that because somebody tells me something... I have to listen to what the hell they say and I have to do what the hell they say. I don't. I don't. I can. I don't have to do anything. I don't have to do anything I don't want to do. See, I'm a human on this earth and no government, no system, no body, no person is above me. Now, that being said, I'm also not above anybody else. All right? <clears throat> There's nobody that I'm above. Now, I got two kids. I'll tell you all something I did for my oldest one. Wrote her a contract, and I gave her her roof, her rules. See, underneath her ceiling, inside her bedroom, is her realm. You see, she's 13. You know, she needs her freedom, her space, her privacy. And by God, I gave it to her. You know, I might be paying the bills on the roof over our head, but she owns her room. Anything that happens in there is her business. It's not my business. Yeah, I'm a loving, caring father, but I'm not going to go invade her personal private space in order to, you know, dictate what she should and shouldn't be doing. You know, her room's not clean. That's because she didn't clean her room. She'll have to live in a mess. She does not have a dirty room. She keeps it clean. She respects her stuff. We're not, what I'm trying to say, what I'm trying to get to, I guess, would be the fact that on this world, you have many different countries and states, and groups, organizations, provinces, whatever. And each of those, every single one of those, people in those things, they're proud to be in those things. They support, you know, America. They support Afghanistan. They support whatever, Israel, you know, or Gaza. You know what I'm saying? Or Palestine, right? Now, I don't have a problem with people taking pride in the area that they live in. I have no problem with that. I don't see anything negative against that. You know, you can be proud of being where you're at. But don't come to his defense whenever your group, your country, is doing wrong shit. 
You know, don't try to say, oh, well, we had to do that because, you know, don't say we. It's like y'all damn, everybody's stuck in fucking sports. Oh, my God. Y'all are aware that sports are pushed out there in order to keep the population fucking dumbed down, right? To keep you misdirected and divided. See, you hear it all the time with sports. Oh, we did this or we did that. You know, the coach should have done this because we, you know, y'all motherfuckers aren't part of the team. You know what I'm saying? Quit saying we. You don't belong to the team. It's not yours. Quit defending it. Quit attacking the others as if you're part of the fucking team. You know, you're a person on a plot of land. You're not anybody's dictator. You're not anybody's guru. You're not anybody's god. And nobody's your dictator. Nobody's your guru. Nobody's your god. We all have differences of opinions. We don't see anything the same exact way. Nothing. So there's always something different. Always. And yet, people like to divide and hate because of this. Some of my views and opinions that I express have a lot to do with the global reality. My global reality. See, I'm not in y'all's divided world of America and England and whatever. You know, I believe in the global reality. There's no reason that my religion's better than your religion. There's no reason that my land is better than your land. There's no reason that my people are better than your people. You're not better than me. I'm not better than you. Nationalists. You know, I don't, I don't like I said before, you know, I don't have a problem with y'all being proud of your country. But y'all fucking nationalists, you're like, oh, my country's number one. My country's the best. No. No, it's not. No, it's not. None of y'all's countries are the best. This world's the best. And this world's the worst. This world's everything that we've ever known. Over half of what we've known is fighting. It's war. It's division. It's hate. It's superiority. It's control. It's manipulation. It's problems. It's problems that people refuse to unite to fix. They want to be standing there saying, Oh, I said this. I was right. I did this. I did that. Fuck what you did. You know? I mean, if you did something good, do it again. And then do it again and do it again. Lead by example. Saw a post. Hell, I made a post. But I saw somebody else's post. Uh, my wife brought it to my attention. She thought that the news was about mine. Talks about Alabama man. Rant. Goes viral against vets. And I had a little apology thing I did on my little Facebook page. You know, I'm sorry I don't agree with you and this, that, and the other to the vets. But this other guy, his was on point. His was on point. And poor little fucker. You know what I'm You can tell he hadn't been trolling long. He got, I think he said something like 20 death threats. I'm like, whoop de do. You know what I'm saying? I get that many every month. Uh, death threats, you know. They're just threats, y'all. Come on. But anyway... Back on topic, that man's uh, rant talked about how people don't, military veterans, they didn't sacrifice shit. I agree and disagree, okay? Um, all those who went to Vietnam, you know what I'm saying? If you went to Vietnam, you're listening to my video, I want you to know this, understand this. Thank you so much for your sacrifice. I'm so sorry that you had to be forced into service for this country to go to war with a group that they shouldn't have been at war with. You know, I'm sorry that you had to be put through that. I'm sorry your family had to be put through that. That is a sacrifice. You know, you're drafted, you're taken away. World War One, World War Two, Korea. You know what I'm saying? Those wars, you know, those were men that believed 100% that they were fighting for the rights of 
all the citizens of America. They did believe that they were fighting for our freedoms. You know, we don't have any fucking freedoms. Not anymore. So, Gulf War on up. I guess I can go ahead and say, you know, 89 on up. How about that? Them apples. If you served in the military from 89 to now, you have not defended my rights or my freedoms at all whatsoever. I hate it for you if you get offended because that's a fact. But the fact is, is you went to war and you got paid to do it. You took a job that paid you to go kill people. That's not a sacrifice, okay? That, that's no difference than me sacrificing my time by going to work doing construction. So that my family can eat and have utilities. Okay? That is the same fucking sacrifice. It's not a sacrifice. It's called employment. It's a job. If you're forced into the service, then yes, I see you as making a sacrifice. If you join the service, then you are yet another tool of the division. You believe that your country has the right to go kill other people in other countries. It's that cut and dry. It's that plain and simple. If you get pissy about it, that's your fault. I don't know. You know this world, I don't know if they're going to get it. I don't know if y'all are ready for it. I don't know if any of y'all are ready for it. Because I see it constantly. You know, I understand there's attacking that needs to be done. But there doesn't have to be division with it. There can be unity in the attack. You can be passive aggressive in the attack. You know, you can invite them to see it from your point of view. In your perspective, try to give them an understanding. No, you're like, your God's wrong, my God's right, my president's right, your president's wrong. Oh my God. You know what I'm saying? I mean, thank God people don't can go to war over Twilight Saga or fucking Hunger Games. Those are just more tools to divide people, right? Team Edward, Team Jacob, whatever, you know? Hunger Games, you know, that, that, that's going to be nuts whenever, it, some of y'all, those that have read the books, y'all understand what's about to come out, and those that haven't, you know, y'all about to see something pretty fucking cool, it's about to be a good movie, uh, it'd probably go up there with, uh, Fight Club, 12 Monkeys, Matrix, V, whatever, you know, but unify, 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 unify. There's no reason that you can go kill somebody else on this planet. There's no reason that I can go kill somebody else on this planet. If somebody comes into my house and they're a threat to my life, my family's life, yes, I can kill them. It does not say that I can go into a plane, fly 8,000 miles away, pull out a gun, jump on somebody else's dirt, and shoot them because fucking Halliburton needs a pipeline. If I did that, that wouldn't be doing a sacrifice. That'd be blood money that I'd be earning. Look, I got friends and family that are military, y'all. You know, don't think that I'm just, you know, have no ties to military and I'm just hating. I'm not. I'm not. My perspective has been enlightened. Is what it is. I understand better now what they're pushed to do and why. More so than some of them do. Well, I'm going to go ahead and jump off. This video is running. YouTube won't let me post anything more than 15 minutes yet. I guess I have to have like more than 10 videos kept in reserve in my video bank in order to be able to post more than 15 minutes. And I, I keep it at 8, I guess. So, I don't know. Let's not divide, y'all. Okay, let's not. Don't think that the ways that you've been taught are the reason, that are the truth, the source of everything, because they're not. This day and age, we have technology. We have communication. We have the ability for each and every one of us
to find the truth our own. Try it. Try it instead of hating somebody because they're different. Try enjoying the fact that y'all are different. Anyway, y'all stay strong. Y'all stay safe. Is there?